to me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna totally wait this time because wait, wait, I don't want you guys to get hit. <laughs> so I'm doing it here. <laughs> you want it to like spill over and stuff? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, ready? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> asked me to be her maid of honor. She came by my house, brought me a bottle of wine that had a label that said, I found my man, but I still need my girl. Sally, will you be my maid of honor? I did not notice the label. I just grabbed the bottle of wine and placed it down. We continued to chat for, I don't know, a few hours. And I did not pay attention, but I kept noticing that she kept looking at the bottle. I mean, being the person I am, I was oblivious. But I think she eventually ran out of patience with me, grabbed the bottle, shoved it in my face, and said, Sally, read the label. Red, uh, croissant, pumpkin, or pumpkin. Okay. I think that's okay. Do you really I want to pumpkin? I read the label and I was very honored. But to be honest, I was surprised. I did not know I was going to be asked. Um, unlike most who had the opportunity to share, Unlike most who had the opportunity to grow up with their maid of honor or share childhood memories, we met after college, so although we haven't known each other for very long, we've grown very close. And that's partly because we're very open with each other. You can talk about anything and everything, and there's no secret between us. Friends come and go, but family will always be there for you. And but G has become like family to me. And I mean, although we're not blood related, we are siblings on Facebook. And <laughs> you know what they say, it's not official unless it's Facebook official, right? I will be there for you guys when you guys see this. Um, when Unji told me that she was moving to Korea, I felt like I lost my partner in crime. She's three months younger than me, so technically you can say I'm the older sister, but that's not true. <laughs> She's definitely more mature than I am. She's always looking out for me, and I thank her dearly for that. Look at her pink shoes. I Oh. Edmund, ever since I've met you, you've always shown me that how much you love and care for Unji. You've always supported her and stayed by her side, and I know you will continue to do so. So to both, coming together is a beginning, keeping together is progress, working together is success, and I wish you both success and nothing less. First drink has to be bottoms up. The first and last drink. So you started? You started a little bit. There's a couple of big events that happened in me and Edmund's lives when we were growing up together. Uh, two of them come to mind. One was the first day we met. It was the first day of seventh grade. Uh, it was math class, Ms. Brewer's class, right? And uh, he was playing a game on his, uh, on his calculator. I'd never seen this before. I'd never seen anybody playing a game on the calculator. I'd never even seen a Korean person before. I was fascinated. So, so we started talking, and uh, we've been best friends ever since. That's when our friendship started. She gave me socks. Let's say, in case you get cold feet. <laughs> that is your wife. That is definitely her. First, his military buddies, you guys need to know that if you see Edmund turn around and sprint in the other direction for no reason, follow him. He won't tell you what's going on, but you could be being chased by people with guns or dogs or whatever. You won't know what's going on. So if you see him turn and run, follow him. That's all I have to say. We started high school. Edmund went to another school. Um, kind of far away and uh, he wasn't in the same high school as we were and one day he just shows back up and I had no idea he was coming back to our school so I asked him what happened I said Edmund what are you doing back here he told me well what happened was um, 
I decided I was going to cut some wires in the computer lab, and I blew the place up. That's not really what happened. He decided that he was going to blow up the computers in the computer lab at Troy High School. I said, Edmund, why did you do this? He said, I don't know. It just seemed like it was fun. The reason I'm saying this is two things. If you know Edmund for five minutes or for 12 years, 13, 14 years, you know that he is very impulsive. He does things whenever he wants, however he wants for no reason. But you also know that when he does something, when he wants something, he's very passionate about it. Very, very passionate. When I met Unji for the first time, um, I'd heard Edmund talk about it for a long time. And uh, when I met her for the first time, it was years after me and Edmund had been friends. And I could tell immediately why he fell in love with uh, She was sweet, she was kind, she was beautiful. And more importantly, I felt like I've known her for a long time. She was very, very warm, very caring. So um, I'd just like to raise a glass to Edmund and Unji and say, may that love and that friendship and that passion last forever. Love you guys. Cheers. <laughs> You're beautiful. Thank you. It's happening, huh? You happy? Hello. Um, I didn't memorize the speech, I'm sorry. Uh, my name is Jihan. For those who don't know me, I'm the bride's brother and also the person responsible for introducing these two together. A little red bow tie. First time I've worn it in uniform, actually. Over five years ago, when I introduced my friend to my sister, I didn't know um, West Point where, where it was or anything like that, but uh, occasionally I wished how cool it would be to have one of them marry my sister. You know, all of them sitting at that table right there. You know, it could have been any of one of you. But uh, it was Edmund. And uh, <laughs> I cared deeply about all of them, so you know, I thought it would be a good idea if, you know, if one of them married my sister, it would be, be awesome. And maybe God was listening on my dreams or my wishes, but my wish came true. And Edmund called me during the spring break of 2009 while June and I were working out at the gym. And I still remember him saying that he wanted to court my sister with my permission. That's the, and at my first impression was like, nobody says court these days. And I still remember thinking like, why would he say that? And well, surely enough, after a long conversation, I can feel the sincerity in the voice and I gave him my blessing. But I don't think that would have mattered because even if I said no, I don't think they would have broken up anyways. I didn't think I was going to cry. I didn't think you would either. You're not the crying type. Hold on, let me throw a little sparkle there. And soon after Edmund and my sister started dating, he never came out anymore. Okay, well, because he was trying to save money to go to Seattle to meet, you know, hang out with my sister and all that. And at first I was very angry because I felt like I lost a friend to their girlfriend and nobody likes that. Okay, but that was two years ago. And today, I couldn't be any happier because two years ago I might have lost a friend, but today I gained a brother. Wow, you look really good too. Thank you for growing your hair out. <laughs> and Luna, I know you have a lo I know you will have a long and happy life with your new husband. Thank you for sticking up for me and being there for me. Although most of the time we fight, I know deep down you cared about me. Till this day, I've never told my sister that she was pretty. But today, for the first time in my life, I can say she's the most beautiful bride I've ever seen. I have no doubt in my mind that Edmund will be a good husband and a good father. And last, almost since that we were almost done with the wedding, I'd like to make a special request for a niece or nephew soon. Thank you very much. Toast to Emin and Unji, or Nuna. Yeah, you gonna make it look like the guy pulling you in? Cause the, you're gonna do this. So from here, I'm gonna go. Yeah, exactly. Oh. That's
And the yelling, the yelling's a little extra. I had to practice. Man. I had to practice. Hold on. Edmund's been <clears throat> my role model since I was born. Um, being the oldest uh, of three brothers. <laughs> okay, being being the oldest of three brothers, you never have like the experience of someone else to follow. You kind of just follow your own path. Ji Young, he really encountered a lot of problems and challenges in his life because he was the first son. He had to experience a lot of things that we avoided because we know that he had troubles with them. And it, it's definitely helped me in so many ways. Um, and to, to do something like that, I don't know, it's, he sets a huge example for me and Justin. And it's really awesome to know that he's there to support us. He's there to tell us um, how we should live our lives. Not in like a commanding way, just because he loves us. He's All you gotta perfect. do is this. Watch, Good job. Watch. You gotta hold your leg back. Watch, watch. Right? Yes. Keep your. Yes. All right. Oh! Got the <laughs> Him going to West Point, you know, no, not, not that many people know what West Point is, or like they do, but a lot of people don't know what it is. But um, I was choosing between two really different schools, and. I thought about what Edmund has done in his life so far, what Justin has done, and uh, I want to go the same way because I know they're going to be successful. So if I want to be successful, I just want to be like my brothers. Jigunhee Hyungnim. This, like, it feels like yesterday that I was calling him Jigunhee Hyungnim. I was like 10 years old. Oma and Appa would be like, call him Jigunhee Hyungnim. I'd be like, okay, I guess, whatever. <laughs> and now he's getting married. Like, this is surreal. <sighs> I, I, I can't, I can't process this right now. You know? And I'm sure everyone else is feeling the same way here. Um, all his West Point friends, a lot of them aren't married yet. He's the first one. He's leading the way, you know? He's, he's the first one in our family, in our generation. To get married and that's that's what he's done he's he's led the way for me and my brothers as Andrew said and you know the way he's done it is he's been passionate he's been passionate about things in short spurts very short spurts <laughs> he's very impulsive I'm gonna tell you right now he's extremely impulsive <laughs> you may kiss the bride <laughs> I now pronounce man and wife. Chi Gunyong has affected my life in a really strong way. Um, everyone says I look like him, so I try to be like him. Um, and whenever Unji Nuna, um, when she came into my life, first time I met her, she was like my sister. Like she treated me like a Nuna. She treated me like. Um, like any other Kong Seng would want to be treated. And I felt very welcome and warm in her heart. Thank you, Thank you for all for coming, especially those who came in from out of state or out of country. We are extremely grateful for Unji and Edmund's dedication to make all of this happen. It is such a blessing to have Unji join our family as a beautiful daughter-in-law and I am very proud of Edmund. Unji and Edmund, I wish you both a happy and blessed marriage life. Thank you. After I met with you, I saw that last for the first time, Edmund was happy. He's never been happy before. And he was actually happy. You know? And he seemed like he knew what he was doing, he knew what he wanted in his life. And that's Unji Nuna. Oh, you should know. In a relationship, um, it doesn't matter who the person is, 
as long as you're happy, that's how it should be. And that's exactly what I saw with you and Young. So I hope you guys have a very happy marriage. Um, and thank you for everything. To Unji and Edmund. All I can say now is I just wish you guys a happy marriage and to just enjoy life with each other. You know, it's, it's, it's really hard to do it by yourself. So, you know, hold, hold hands. Get, wait, give me a knife or a, a fork. To Unji and Edvin.